Welcome to Crafting with Carrie. I wanted to show you guys the um, second junk journal that I've made. Um, I might have to see if I can get the first one back and do a video of it too. I know I put some pictures out there of it, but this one I made. Um, I'll put some pictures of the book that I found at a secondhand store. I put some corner tabs on it because this one was um, pretty loved by the time I got it. Um, I did a, I used the original spine, but I added a couple of things in there and covered it with fabric so that it would be stronger. Um, so I have three that I made for Christmas for some special people in my life. So I wanted to actually video them <laughs> more for my own uh, remembering what I even did because I can foresee this changing over time. So I did this ribbon that I tied it together with because it's they get a little bit of a of an alligator crocodile mouth. They get a little big. Um, my challenge was to not stuff them so full because I would like the people that I give them to to be able to um, actually use it as a journal or create or pull things out or put things in as they would like. So I wrote a letter to the individual and um, for these ones I thought it would be pretty neat to put the the intro page of the actual book and when it was published. So this one was published in 1962. This one had some pretty fun images in the book that I saved. Put a few in here, but I used some for, uh, saved some for future use too. So this theme is a lot about space, there's a little hidden journal tag in there. I did some stenciling and sewing. On the other side actually is just a little side tuck. Um, so this is an image from the book itself. And as I said, I tried to leave lots of space for journaling or drawing or for them to create their own glue pages. I had some fun with some dyeing of papers. Um, I think it turned out really cool with how it baked and where the water, the color seeped onto the pages. I had fun adding different kinds of pages like um, old maps. Here's a multi-tuck. So each of these little en envelopes has a little journal tag on the on them. Just added some alphabets for the add some character for there and a little stamp. I've discovered I like the word stamps for some inspiration on these pages. Here I used, um, I'm seeing um a lot, um, um, um. This is, what is this? Liquid pearls? To add some texture. And I love the way the pages feel. The center of each signature I tried to add a piece of art. This is from an old music page that I had found. Added just stuck some there's a sextant on there to go with the theme of the book. This is from a early 1900s Church of God um, hymnal that I found that was falling apart. Loving the secondhand stores right now for all the old, old books. 
my husband maybe not so much. This one I just folded the paper kind of back and forth on there. It was an image. Actually, this image was from a music sheet. And I tried to leave some empty spaces. This is a... Uh, I don't even know. I found it at the secondhand store too. Coffee dyed paper. Neil comes home wondering what's baking in the oven and it's paper. Um, here's just a little fun trifold. I used some um, deco edged scissors so when you open it up there's little treasures inside this is black paper so you could write on it with a white gel pen or something like that little little things tucked in there and then as we go in there's more little things little papers you could hide little secret thoughts. And then on the very inside, there's a, a, a family picture. It's kind of fun to tick, tuck it back and forth, make it a little bit of a interesting piece. And then I just tucked it in there. So. They want to keep that in, they can. If they want to take it out and tuck other things in there, they can too. Um, I found it fun to leave some of the words from the pages. Oh, and look at these pages. They're just gorgeous. They're soft and silky on the edges. And the stitched page, I stitched a little pocket on the other side. And a fun image in there and I just put some dot paper on the back so it can be used as a a writing surface maybe for a poem or a secret message here's a little tag to say open me up and then I just clipped some fun things that they can use tucked some fun things they can use Journal cards. Oops, stick it in there. I was experimenting with some different colors for edging. Now, I don't know if you guys will think this is as cool as I do, but I uh, do all my, a lot of my edging and cornering and stamping off on white background paper or white paper and I just thought it ended up looking so cool that I just added it on for some writing space. I really enjoy fussy cutting out different images to put them onto the pages. There's a world of magazines and old um, animal books, old art books. This is, um, I believe, a Da Vinci. It was one of his studies where he used, he did an art study on a horse. I think it's a fun way to introduce people to art also. Here's a little, I took a few of the pages and made it into a little flip flip book and a little surprise inside. I just love how the old pages have that cream color on them. This is a vinyl sticker that I created with the Cricut. It had some fun uh, different kinds of paper clips. I use lots of stamping because I have lots of stamps and it's a fun way just to add something without adding a lot of bulk. 
Um, there's another pocket with just added some extra things to do some journaling on, or if they want to use them for little notes or add more things themselves. Um, I was really, it was really fun to find that in the dictionary. I have an old dictionary that's falling apart. I, I like to try and find the books that are falling apart so I don't feel like I'm pulling apart new stuff. That was, I had done this a little bit ago. I just love the way the texture turned out and I just put it on a card so they can have it as a note card or a reminder or secret little poem for themselves. And I just added some glittery paint through a stencil. Some more coffee dyed papers. This was just, I had picked up an old, I think maybe it was in the in the atlas maybe, I'm not sure. But it's just an old, it's copy paper that uh, is aged that somebody was going to draw something on there. Maybe copy a map. But I thought that was pretty neat. And reach the moon. Sometimes things just come together for the themes. This is just um, you can write some notes or make their own corners or tags or whatever they would like and there's a little little hidden pocket in there. Little clipped on pocket with some goodies. This page started out as a as the protective sheet on the desk that ended up being something pretty cool. Um, this one I stenciled I inked up that. These just randomly showed up on my desk so I decided to stick them on there and those are note cards. Let's tuck them back in there. I think the fun thing about this too is all these things you can turn them into side tucks or write a note and give them to somebody if you would like. I found these airmail envelopes at a secondhand store too. It's my new favorite shopping place and I made it into a tuck on the side and open it up and there's a little tuck right there and then there's some little treasures hidden inside there. Yeah, if you can't tell, I'm just absolutely loving making these junk journals. And I hope that the people I gift them to truly enjoy them. I just love this picture. I don't know if you grew up in Saskatchewan or any prairies. There's so much truth to that picture. It's one of the images from the original book. A little card. I thought this was humorous. This is my humor. The Milky Way. And a little milk jug in there. Oh, and there's a little altered paper clip. I've just started playing with the altered paper clips and um, trying trying really hard to use the stuff. And I think it's so cool. That, so this is the wrapper from the thread that I used to um, bind the book together and some this is the thread that just came from the fabrics of of the um, book of the uh, sorry the binding what is this called what's this part called I don't know can't think of it right now so I had colored some pages that came out of the book um, with some watercolors and then did some a little bit of punch art with them. I want to explore that a lot more. I think you could do a lot of fun things putting some images on here. Oh, this one is a little stamp and I cut part of it out 
to be just like a bottom pocket and stuck that in there. I hope you guys are enjoying listening to me ramble through another, the other side of that. I just did it on both sides and I sewed it across the top. There's another little tuck in here. So this is my, um, I used up a pile of the little extra pieces and I just created a new world with an animal that we don't see around here, so that could be in a new galaxy somewhere, right? Sure it could be. I've found opportunity to create these fun things now that I'm at home. Sometimes I find just like the strangest things. There's a little Japanese theme we're just gonna stick in there in the middle of nowhere just just to shake it up a little bit some fun little little quotes with another little altered book clip some poems I never was into poems but now I don't know they seem to hit home a little bit more maybe it's that whole aging thing I'm not too sure it kind of creeps up on you. Here's another from an old art book. Some little fun Christmas. Um, this is a Christmas gift, so I just added a little bit of Christmas stuff. But I didn't want the whole books to be Christmas themed. I wanted it to be something they would want to use all year round. And maybe by the end of next year, this will be full of all of their treasures and thoughts and poems. And huh, I, I just thought that was really cute. And this is uh, circles on the top and the bottom. You can just tuck this in too. And here's a... Uh, the northern sky and some writing space on the back and oh, put that in the front fabric pocket and this is some thread from just uh, fraying the edges of the fabric oh oh look there's a little surprise and some more writing space I love the idea of the little surprises. It just makes me so happy. Makes my heart sing. And some simple stamping. And we're getting it to the end of the book. <clears throat> so I hope you guys enjoyed. One last tag there for them to play with. Hope you enjoy um, looking through this junk journal with me. Um, if you're interested, I have a couple more that I'm going to be posting as well. Yeah. Have a wonderful day.